that production was televised, and the the subsequent production by this this team, uh, this husband and wife team and their partner, uh, Gabriel Levinson, was uh, was called Unfinished Business, and they uh, were offered a, a television production of that um, at WCAU, the CBS affiliate in uh, Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia. So we. Uh, went over to Philadelphia to record that. And it was my first TV, real TV show. It was part of a series uh, back then called uh, the CBS Repertory, Repertory Workshop. I don't know if it was a national, uh, nationally broadcast production. I know it was seen in, in the New York area and, and of course in, in Philadelphia and most of the, no the Northeast. Um, coincidentally, it just so, and this is really a, quite a coincidence, even though I didn't really get to know him very well then, uh, one of the young writers and producers on that particular uh, production of Repertory Workshop was Matt Robinson, who was the original Gordon on Sesame Street uh, uh, some years later. Uh, I also got to know Matt um, again through, through mutual friends in the 70s, um, early 70s. By then he had been uh, working with Sesame Street for a few years. And then a few years after that, I was uh, his successor <laughs> as, uh, as Gordon. Actually, I'm the third Gordon. He, there was another actor between the two of us who lasted for two, two seasons, I believe. Matt was um, one of the most uh, um, amazingly uh, eclectic creative types that I've ever, I mean, he, 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 he had so many different interests of, in terms of his, um, you know, he, he came from Philly. He was originally, he was born and raised in Philly. As a matter of fact, he and Bill Cosby were, were boyhood friends. And he went on to become the head writer on, on the Cosby Show, as you may know, the head writer and producer. Uh, but he, he, he had a love for language and, um, you know, language of the people. So, you know, when he would write, you would really get these really colorful um, kinds of, um, you know, dialogue and, and, and phrases and things that, you know, were familiar to, to, to people in general, but you, you very rarely heard in, uh, in performance art, you know, or in, uh, uh, especially in television. But um, he just had a real ear for, for that kind of, you know, the music of language, you know. Uh, and. Um, and he was also, you know, very well-read, very uh, astute, educated guy uh, who knew a lot of a lot of things and uh, had a lot of respect for him. He was a f really f fun guy to be around as well. Yeah. Well, he didn't intend to uh, pursue a career as an actor. He was actually, as I said, one of the producers and writers on the show. And when they were looking for people to be on this new, you know, experimental show. Uh, the character of Gordon, as it was conceived, was someone that they didn't quite find anyone who they thought fit, you know, and had all the qualities that they thought Gordon should have. You know, he should be someone who, you know, really relates to kids very well and just has a real kind of, a, you know, uh, comfortable quality about him that kids would respond to and could work with puppets and, you know, and things. And so uh, I think it was Joan Cooney who asked mad if he would just, you know, try it. And he agreed to, you know, not realizing that it would go on beyond <laughs> a year or two. And after, I think, uh, f he did three seasons, yeah, uh, he decided that that was enough, yeah, and he would get back to his writing and producing.